guys. We're back with more dry brushing with Inca Gold and acrylic paint to make really cool jewelry using brass stampings. And we're gonna work on today are my earrings that I made. You'll get to see them up close in just a minute. But they're just really so pretty. Use three colors, dry brush it on. It goes so fast and before you know it, you got earrings. So having said that, one thing I would ask you to do is please subscribe to our channel because there's a lot of stuff coming up now. It's going to be really good content, lots of fun, lots of creativity. Like the video if you do like it. And if you feel like it, leave me a little comment because those comments are like gifts to me. When you're kind and you leave me something from your heart, I make my videos from my heart. So when you leave that little something, it's like a gift and I appreciate it so much. But having said that, get on over here and I'll show you how to make some really pretty earrings. Okay, guys, so here's how it goes. My sweet little earrings that I made. I love these. They came out so great. And I just used my raw brass, which was degreased. Of course, you have to do that, remember. And I just kind of dry brushed uh, my Inca Gold onto this form. This one. I can't remember. Oh, it's, it's um, FIG 03326. It's a drop in the brass, section, uh, brass stamping section at bsuperteaks.com. Um, you can find it really easy there, and they are not expensive at all. You can make a pair of earrings for not very much money at all. So basically what I want to do is I want to, you know, get my colors on here, and let's see what happens, okay? Making our bases. It's just kind of a reiteration of what I did in my very last video about the dry brushing, only I'm not using the sponges this time. I'm using some cheap cosmetic brushes. Like you can get, get a, yeah, that would help cheap cosmetic brush just like that you can get them in a dollar store sometimes you know cost very much you know these work great these are very good for perfect pearls too by the way anyways so now I'm just going to dry brush it and I don't have my uh, gloves on but that's okay what's so cool is when you get a piece like this that has a lot of a raised textured edge it's just so easy to do and make it look fun and good you know See how it just kind of colorized that? It didn't color everything. It let the, the gold show through a little bit, which we want. This the only thing is, is this one's a little bit darker now because I had a little bit more on my brush. So I need to get a little bit more on my brush so that they'll match. Okay, so there's a little bit more on that one than this one. That's the thing about earrings. you got to make a match, you know? That's how it is. Okay, so I got my pretty color on. I didn't get it on too strong. Don't want it on too strong. I'll take a little bit off with this. You can always take the side of one of these foam brushes here and just kind of, I had some color, but I'm using the other one on the other side. So you can remove some like that and just kind of buff it out. It worked good that way. Okay, now we had the gold underneath, which is showing a little bit. And then I did some of the pink on here. It's not going to be exactly the same. Yeah, there's a little that's from the brush. Um, so now what I need to do is I need to get a little bit of this color in here, this this uh, turquoise. Turquoise. So I'm gonna use another brush. And oh, by the way, don't worry about like, you know, I'm just using these up and they're gonna be no good. I only have one color. These wash out great. It takes nothing, you know, this is water-based, ink of gold wash it right out. These, in fact, these were already washed out once before, so they're fine. So you just wash them out. So I'm going to get a little bit of this turquoise stuff on here. I might have a little bit too much, so I'll just kind of dab it out. And then I'm just going to go, look at that, how cool is that? Just go over the high points with it. It's like you sat there and you took your little brush all that time and did, dotted it in and you didn't at all. All you did was take a dry brush and it just picks it up. Cool, huh? Is that cool or what? Okay. So now that's pretty much done. I might add a little bit of gold or mustardy color to it, but since this stuff is, you know, you can do it easy enough to do it, I'm going to go ahead and use up some of the back of it on the back because we need to finish our backs. And this isn't hurting a thing. And I'm going to show you how it's not safe. It's fine. Anyway, you can take a little bit more and go over it. These, that's the bad thing. It looks like these things shed a little bit. Can't yeah. like not liking that. But happens to every brush. You know what? You know, it's, it is what it is. Okay? You can't have everything perfect. I mean, no. you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know that. <laughs> Things don't always go the way it planned. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to kind of dry brush that out. I would really like to get a little bit of this in it. 
the I think the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to, since I have some on this, I'm going to go ahead and try to mush this guy down in here. This okay. is getting a little dry, but I think I can get enough moisture out of it yet. And you know what? Don't worry. Like, oh, you put too much down there. Now it's all wasted. No, it's not. You could take this and flick it off onto a china plate. Put water on it. Let it sit for a little while. And you got paint again, so don't worry. You're fine. Not a problem. Or a mister bottle over it. Probably that would work right now. Okay, so now I got a little bit too much on there. Okay, so now I'm just going to dip dot down into there. Oh, he's stuck in like that. I'll get it off. Mm. Yeah, I can always get it off. It's no biggie. He's gone out the view. <laughs> yeah, there we oh, there go. You know. <laughs> that's not exactly the same as that, but that's okay. Do we want to do everything all the same? I think not. No. I know you guys. You love your one of a kinds. So we're we're fine. It doesn't matter at all. <laughs> not at all. Now you might say, well these are kind of shiny, Brenda. How come these are shiny and this is not? Because these are sealed. I use ah. I use satin, Krylon clear spray. I was thinking that. Not I did not use matte. I wanted a little bit of a glow, so I use satin. I don't use gloss. I don't like the look of gloss. If you do use it, or anything, but that's the way I did. So I used a satin, and it gave me that little bit of gloss. Just, sh -sh -sh, you know, let it dry. Turn the back over because you got to get the back too. Sh -sh -sh, and you're done. Let it dry. Ten minutes maybe. And if you think you need another coat, then you do another one on the front. You don't need to do another one on the back. One on the back is enough. But anyways, it just goes as easy as that. Look at that. How cute is that? Let's do another color. What do you say? Because i got stuff to use up here. Okay, so How now... How about copper? Yeah, I think I will. You know what? This is kind of close in color. Yeah. So I'm true. not going to worry about it polluting anything. Plus, I can wash it out, so... Biggie. No biggie. Okay. So let's get this all up in there. Wash off a little bit extra. Okay, look, look at this. Oh. Cool. It's so cool. Pink. Pretty in pink. And then I'm going to do copper over the top. Okay, that's good. So let's do the back since we're here. <laughs> Did you get her done? Get and done. Don't, right you know, something. if you knew exactly what colors you were going to use and you weren't just like, say, oh, let's just have fun. If you knew exactly what colors you are going to use, you could do all your backs first and one hurt. You know, it wouldn't hurt for you to do that, but you don't have to. Like I say, with a little bit of moisture, you're going to use all this stuff. It's just, I like to dry brush it. Since I figured out how to do this, you know, discovered how to do it, I don't know, whatever. It's, I know the world of brushing and art has been doing it a long time, but Brenda Sue has not, so it was a discovery for me. <laughs> but anyway, so so I got this going on. Now I'm going to put a little bit of coppery stuff with it. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush because, like I say, I wash it out and I don't care at this point. I'm good. Let's see what it does. Ah. Ah. It's kind of murky, don't you think? A little bit murky. Yeah, I covered a little bit too much. Okay, so what do I do? Well, I take my side of my... And I distress it a little bit with that and get a little bit off. Now what it does is it does kind of blend it down in, you know, but you might like that look. And if you don't, what you can do is you can let it dry thoroughly and then take a little steel wool over it. And that'll take a lot of it off. But I'm, I'm kind of liking it now. It's kind of a combination of the pink, hot pink, and the copper. But that's not really what I was going for. So, now what shall I do? Well, I always say, when you don't know what to do, use turquoise. <laughs> Come on, you. Come on, you turquoise. <laughs> just a little bit. That's all I needed, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's just very muted. You know, you might like this kind of a look. It's very muted. I don't know if that's really translating on there. No, not you know really. What? You know what? Let me do this. Move it up here. Can there you we see? go. Can you see it now? I don't have it on all that paint mess. You can see it a little bit better now. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I need a flashlight. Flashlight on it. <laughs> okay, now take, I'm going to take a little bit of this gold that's left. Oh, you know what? That's not going to work. Remember why that's not going to work? Because why? Because yellow and turquoise will make a funky green yep. the wind may not like. So, I'm going to get out my paint pen. Kind of this 
sunshine yellow color. And I'm gonna, I don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead, <laughs> I don't care about that. Normally you don't do this, but in this case, it don't matter. You're fine. And you let this make it murky too. Really? Yeah, um, you know what, it's not like lost. It's just not what it was going for. Yeah, that's you know? what you're saying. It's not lost, it's fine. It's just I wanted it hot. Heated. I wanted it hot and bright like that. Yes. And it didn't do it. So how am I going to get it to do that? Um, I got some more color over here. When it all spells, do turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> I love this color. Oh my goodness, I love it. When all else fails, do more turquoise. I would have done the whole thing in blue. <laughs> would you? Yeah, probably. Well, that's no nothing wrong with that. You know, you do what you want. You know, it's your project, right? Yes. That's right. That's true. This is true. That took us. Ah, here we go. It's hmm? coming back to life. <laughs> it's coming back to life. <laughs> that's what I love. You know how they say, give it a pop of color? It uh, That's what happens. The color makes it pop. You got to get more color in your world. We all need more color in our world. Yes, more don't color, we? the more the color. More color we need. Okay, now, I just still feel kind of like this needs a little bit more color. I agree. She agrees. Well, if Javi agrees, you know there's got to be something to it's it. It's still muted for somewhere. I can see the turquoise. It needs, so no some, it needs some bright thing, you know. And we found it's out when we put color. copper in there that that was probably not the best choice because it got a little weird. Which I'm surprised. I didn't expect I that. I think it's because it's close to that uh, Marcella. Or the Sala. Marcella. And then I thought maybe color. we would get a really cool effect with that, but we didn't this time. You know, this is the thing. You take an afternoon and you experiment and you teach yourself. That's what you do. Is you teach your own little self. Okay, so I've got this brush because it was available. <laughs> okay. And once again, I can wash this out. Let's, I'm hoping for the best here. I'm going to go easy. I might go more toward the middle there. I want something bright and metallic going on. Well, that's better. That's indeed better. It is very pretty. I mean, I can't complain. That's very pretty. Sometimes, you know, you get a vision in your head, and this is what I want it to look like, and it don't work that way, you know? <laughs> I really been. like how this looks, but like I say, part of the reason this looks the way it does is because I did the, the satin over top. I think so, too. That's why. A lot of times a little gloss just makes it pop, you know, even more. Okay, so we got these ones, we got these ones. Huh. Huh. What if I take this little fine brush and just kind of go around here? Oh, yeah. That's what we needed. Just a little bit of detail. Sometimes you need a fine brush. Yeah. I'm not good at painting like faces or specific things. I used to be when I was younger. I used to paint and draw all the time. I'm not so good anymore, but I'm kind of like the surface treatment type thing, the random type thing. You know, I'm a very random person. In case you didn't know that. Okay, I'm liking it now. And when these get when they get spray painted, they're gonna be even better. They're gonna be even better. But yeah. this this dry brush stuff is just so cool. I want to show you one last thing before I take off here. Okay, so I have this piece here. I have something in mind to do with this, but just to try and use a little bit of this color up a little bit, you know, because I've got a bunch of it just to show you how cool this is. Okay, so I'm gonna take this color, Marsala. Pink or gold, I saw it. Isn't it the coolest pink? It's just like, it's kind of coppery too. Just again, look at that. Because you're just getting the top of all that relief. Now you could paint it first if you want, you know, and not have the gold Ooh, coming out. But I, <laughs> yeah, you could, you could definitely do that. Definitely you could do that. In fact, I just had a thought. Real quick, let's see what our time's like. I got one minute. I got one minute. Javi's <laughs> always on me about my time. Which somebody needs to be. 
<laughs> okay, here's why. That's why. Okay, let's see. I get another. I'm getting just a little piece. I got a little one here. Okay. Oh. So now I'm gonna paint it white. And since this dries fast, maybe we'll be able to see, you know, if her idea looks good. That's true. You know, I mean, I'm sure it would, but we don't have all the time in the world here. Because I'm trying to keep your attention. <laughs> <laughs> and not go on and on and on and on and on and on, you know. I'm trying to <laughs> self-edit. It's good for me. It's good for me to learn to do that. Okay, now one thing you could do is you could let this dry and you could distress it. And then you would have all these golden highlights come up, which is very rich. I love white and gold together. Pearl and gold. It looks good right now. <laughs> yeah, it looks good right now. And that's a lot from Javi because she doesn't praise easy. <laughs> she just won't say nothing. Or maybe she'll say something. Anyway, I'm just blowing out a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going very light. And this is wet, so it's not optimum. But look at that. That gives you the idea of how that would look. Oh, it looks so cute. Isn't that cute? See, just for you, Javi, I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Big whoop. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So when this dries, I'll go ahead and I'll brush out the back. But anyway, that's how that looks. So, you know, to finish these off and make them into the coolest earrings, first of all, what you need to do is you need to make sure you got your backs done, which I believe I did. Yeah. And then um, you're going to want to, you know, sp spray lacquer them. You can use matte. If you want them to stay looking just like this, use matte. If you want them to have a little bit of glow like these do, use satin, okay? And then all you got to do is wire up some beads like I did. I use those little yeah. tiny, itty bitty, like three, four millimeter tiny ones they have now. And I used a rondelle, a little bit longer in the middle, a little bit shorter on the ends. Wire them up, put them on there, put on your ear wires, and you're good to go. You can sell them, give them away. Or wear them however it makes you happiest. Just be happy, have fun, be creative, try something new. And remember, if you have a hankering to try some of this stuff, we have everything you need at BeastsBoutiques.com. No kidding, we really do. So thank you so much for watching again today. I appreciate it so much. Uh, please subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a whole lot more coming up. You know, there's been a whole lot more here recently. It's just going to stay like this or get better. So there's going to be a whole lot more. So if you like this type of stuff, you don't want to miss any. And if you subscribe, YouTube will let you know, okay? And you can leave me a like if you liked it. And you can leave me a polite little comment if you have something to say. I love to hear from you. Your comments are like gifts. So thanks so much. You guys are great. Go do something creative.